Woohoo! Spring has sprung and we're at one of my most favorite places in the world. We're back in the Smokies. Uh, this time we're just doing a, a small overnight loop. Uh, what we're doing is Mount LeConte and we're going up Rainbow Falls Trail. That's where we are in the parking lot of the trailhead. And then we will come back down Trillium Gap Trail. We have both Josh's with me. We have Subaru Josh back there. <laughs> and we have Karate Josh. And you can see why I call him Karate Josh in the link I'll put right about here. Um, but Karate Josh is also with us. So that's how you guys can keep him straight. Subaru Josh and Karate Josh. And of course, I'm Tim. Hope you guys enjoy this little overnight adventure. Um, should be fun to see Mount LeConte for the first time. This is a pretty popular day hike. So we're expecting to see a bunch of people, especially uh, at least all the way up to Rainbow Falls. We had to pass through the burned area in Gatlinburg and you can kind of see as we walk through this area. But wow, we really lucked out. It's such a gorgeous day. I know, the weather turned out great. Wow. I'm so lucky with weather. <laughs> Love the Smokies. Heading up a Rainbow Falls Trail is a bit of a rock walk, but it's not bad. It's just nice to be outside, getting some fresh air. I've been sick like a dog all week, and I've been thinking I might have to miss this trip. So I'm taking it a little slower than I usually do, and uh, both these guys are being accommodating so far. But man, it's a good day to be alive. Something to note, there's very little tree cover because of the burning, I believe, and because it's early spring. So, it is more exposed than typical. So I can only imagine the summer, this would be a very warm hike. Look at that view, huh guys? We're actually getting quite a bit of elevation. What's that? Say that again, Captain Obvious. <laughs> you shall hereby be called Obvious Josh. No longer Subaru Josh. Every trip we've had, we've had to worry about water. Where's our next water gonna come from? So far, we have more than enough water. It crosses the trail several times. It's been fairly wet the last week or so. So it's nice to not have to worry much about water. Yeah. <laughs> We're about, probably about half a mile or less from the falls. It's actually a really pleasant hike. It just is really cool and uh, now the upper portion of the hike is kind of shaded. So it's really, really nice to, to be able to come out here and see the views and people are heading down because it's toward the end of the day. So the day hikers are coming from the falls and not many people are going up. So I'm hoping we have the falls kind of to ourselves. Then of course the crowds are definitely gonna thin out after the falls and we head up to LeConte.
That's pretty gorgeous. Good place to guzzle some water, refill, and just enjoy the beauty. Soak it in. Wow. What a great place. Check that out, right? This is one of the smaller falls, by the way, which we're not quite to Rainbow Falls yet. But this is a really pretty spot. Falls are up a little further. Let's check them out. That's my hair, good. <laughs> so there are the falls. They're all the way up there. Uh, but we're, pretty, we're really close. That's pretty impressive. Time to take a snack, filter some water, and hang out. pretty fortunate to have seen as many awesome things in the Smokies as I already have and Rainbow Falls as fast as it was flowing just now was a pretty cool sight to see so now we're headed up the last leg continuing on Rainbow Falls trail past the falls which you can hear behind us whoa <laughs> made it we're safe all the way up to LeConte excited to see it it's just a beautiful day and i'm hoping the sunset it's gonna be pretty awesome from up there climb continues mount leconte is actually actually the third highest peak in the park which is kind of cool that we'll be going to the top of that but also the interesting thing about leconte is if that you measure it from its base which starts in Gatlinburg, whew, let me catch my breath. If you measure it from its base, which starts in Gatlinburg, it's actually the tallest mountain in the Eastern United States. Kind of cool, huh? Yeah. That's your daily trivia. So many awesome stream crossings and little creeks and little everything. It's just it's pretty beautiful, guys. Look how blue the sky is. Still climbing, of course. The trail's pretty rocky. Um, I think the interesting thing about mileage in the Smokies, so our GPS tracker, which is new, tells us that we have gone almost six miles. But the trail mileage on the maps says the uh, distance or the hike up to the continent is about six point something, 6.3 maybe. So all these times that we've thought to ourselves, wow, it feels like we're doing more miles than what the map says, we may have been. Which I think is interesting how they measure these trails and give these markers out. But whatever, 
making our way up. Actually, the, the fire damage has made it easier to see out. Ooh. And miss this. Hike really fast and miss this. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Ah, burning. Wow, the fire damage is just unreal. How, how crazy this! This is the worst we've come across so far, but just. All the burnt trees everywhere. Jeez. It's kind of sad to see. This was all started because of an arson fire at Chimney Tops. And just burned for quite a while. If you remember our uh, if you remember our last visit where we did the camera sterling loop, I think the weekend after we came back is when those fires started and it just went on for a while. But Oh, it takes your breath away just to look at it. Wow. Oh, I know. That's the sketchiest bridge I've ever seen. <laughs> the bridge itself isn't sketchy. It's the, it's the drop. Oh. Very few people, of course, on the trail now. Like I'd say, we've seen maybe four people on the trail on the way up to LeConte uh, from Rainbow Falls. So the crowds that you kind of saw or will see um, when you head to Rainbow Falls kind of disappear. So it's kind of cool. You kind of have a lot of solitude on the way up to LeConte, um, at least today and the time we're going. And of course, the trail becomes a little stream, which is kind of fun. At least with uh, trail runners, you just kind of deal with it. It's time for a snack break. This is probably the first time we've stopped this trip. Um, that's not at the falls or something to see. We're just stopping for a break. It's been a little over an hour of just trekking uphill, so we need an energy boost. Look at this water source. I'm kind of jealous that we didn't have, we haven't had more of these in the Smokies on some of our other hikes. It was really dry last summer, but check this out. <laughs> no! Check that out, that's crazy. So let's see what the signs say. Yep, this is the intersection of Bullhead Trail, which is closed. Closed due to the wildfire damage. So that, yeah, that makes sense. It was pretty wet, but Bullhead is closed. And so it's uh, 0.6 miles to uh, LeConte. Made it to another intersection. And so we are close. LeConte Lodge, 0.1 miles away. Yeah, it is. Where are you going to pop right the lighting is perfect? Oh. Bathrooms are here, and here's the lodge complex, I guess. Our shelter is 0.2 miles away, 
the Mount Lacan backcountry shelter. And uh, tomorrow morning, we'll be going down the Trillium Gap Trail for pretty much the entire way and make our way back to the trailhead that we were at this afternoon. The Lacan Lodges is an interesting thing being up there. And why I say that is, is that lots of people love the lodge. And I mean, they're booked usually a year out in advance. It's just, I don't know. Like I said, it's, it's been there for a while. So it, it's not like it's anything like new construction or new anything, but it's, it's odd for me to see that um, this far up here, but I'm sure people enjoy it. Woo, home for the night. We're gonna drop our packs, take our food to whatever lookout is nearby, and relax and eat. And no fires up here. And I think we're deciding top or bottom. Mm, I smell great. <laughs> I think we're gonna go bottom. At least I will. So we took one of these little spur looping trails from the shelter and come up to this opening. And boom! Highway down there. Whew. That is crazy. So, as you keep on that looping trail, you see lots of awesome overlooks and lots of views. You keep heading up, 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 and then you finally reach the summit of Mount LeConte. And here it is, it's pretty glamorous. It's that pile of rocks with that Karen right there. We are at the summit of Mount LeConte, 6,583 feet, I think. So we saw some nice people just now and they told us about this awesome overlook called Myrtle Point. So we're headed this that direction and came across this junction sign. Myrtle Point Trail is that way. Can't see it much in the sun, but it's a little incline right there. And we're gonna see what views we can see. Maybe have dinner and watch the sunset out there. Yes, that was a grunt of exertion. Whew. Wow. This will be a pretty epic place to, uh, to eat. Hopefully. A little windy up here, of course. Holy cow! Wow, where'd you get up Holy smokes! Yeah. I actually have LTE cover up here too. <laughs> Let's do a 360 for you guys. Wow. Send Megan a snap so she's jealous. Wow. Right? Holy cow, what a view of the Smokies from Myrtle Point. Man, yours like flames up right away, doesn't it? Yep. That is crazy. <laughs> that is just nuts. Look at that. Look at that view. 
What do you guys think? A good spot for dinner? Yeah, for sure. Wow. It's pretty crazy out here. I'd say fairly early. Yeah. How was that? Delicious. Chicken and dumplings. With a view. is sunset from close to uh, cliff tops. Another kind of side trail from the top of Lacan. That is a pretty good end to a very full day. Let's go see if we can get closer. You can see the lights of Gatlinburg below. Here we are at Myrtle Point for sunrise. You know, that is one of the amazing things about backpacking and hiking, is that you get to see incredible things. Almost every time, depending on how you plan your trips. If you plan your trips like we do, we plan so that we see at least one, one thing that makes your heart full every day. And sunsets at cliff tops, and sunrises at Myrtle Point um, on LeConte definitely fit the bill. It's just, it's one of those things that makes you want to burst out in song. And we're gonna take the Trillium Gap Trail back to the car. Like we said before, just a quick overnight adventure. And it, it's, we've really packed a lot, I think, into just one day so far. And today we're gonna Hopefully see the llamas that supply uh, LeConte Lodge. And we may also, well, we will see Grotto Falls, which is the only falls in the park that you can walk behind. So I'm excited. I think we packed a lot into this weekend and I'm looking forward to see what today has in store. The Grotto Waterfall should be. How far in is that? The weather is awesome, and like I said before, the, the scale of the Smokies is always so impressive when you're down in, in between these gullies and you've been walking ridges for a while. No llamas yet, but we'll, we, we see lots of uh, llama scat, so I assume we'll see them on the way up. Now that's a cool water slide next to the trail. That was cool. We just kind of ran in the corner and, and we saw the, the llama handlers and the llama, they said they couldn't pause too long because the rhododendrons are poisonous to them. So I think they'll want to munch on them. But that was neat. We made the junction, so that first 3.6 miles is over, and those are Smoky Mountain miles, meaning the GPS has told us that we've actually gone about 4.2 miles from camp. Granted, the trail didn't start until, I'd say, a little under half a mile from camp. But if you're paying attention to the mile markers on the signs and different things, just be aware that it may not be exactly accurate. It may take you longer than you think. We're going we're gonna to take a break, get a snack, hydrate, and then keep going. 2917 and then 0.6. Got it. It's the only falls in the park 
that you can actually walk behind and we'll have to because the trail goes behind it. It's pretty cool. Well, now you guys can say that you walked behind Grotto Falls too. Pretty cool, huh? So that's it guys, we're making good time. We're heading back to the car. It was a pretty awesome weekend. Lots of waterfalls, uh, one summit, but lots of awesome overlooks. And uh, that'd be all for now. You know what time it is? Barbecue. <laughs> so we'll catch up with you guys maybe after the, the credits or whatever I call that. Maybe after the outro, you'll see some more food. All right, peace. Uh, worth the wait. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No. It's time to eat. Sunsets at cliff tops and sunrises at Myrtle Point um, on LeConte definitely fit the bill. It's just it's one of those things that makes you want to burst out in song. That it's probably a little cheesy, but it just makes makes you glad to be alive. And today's Sunday. So I don't know. Maybe we should sing a sing a song for you. I'm not sure what. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. Oh, magnify the Lord. For he is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord. For he is worthy to be praised. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of my salvation.